I'm Bia Hamid and welcome to Diva Chats. Today I have one of our role models. Her name is Monica and she is from the Physician Assistant Program at Eastern Michigan University. Hi Monica, welcome. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you for being one of our role models today. So tell me about your role at EMU. So at Eastern, I am in the Physician Assistant Program and I started there a little over a year ago. So I am in my second year of the two-year program and I'm looking forward to starting clinical rotations soon. Awesome, so is this physician assistant program an undergrad or graduate program? This is a graduate program. So when I finish, I will have a master's degree in physician assistant studies. That's excellent, so only one year away. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Yeah, it's coming quick. So tell me, why did you choose Eastern Michigan University? Well, I found out um, just through high school and my undergrad um, that I knew I wanted to be a PA. So when my undergraduate graduation date was approaching, I started looking at PA schools all around Michigan. And Eastern's really stood out to me because they have a great relationship with St. Joe's Hospital down the street, which I thought was really great because that gives them facility for anatomy labs and simulations to practice with before we enter the real world. And just the friendly environment of Eastern really drew me in. So you being in the physician assistant program and hopefully in a year from now being a physician assistant, you definitely are a woman in STEM. So tell me about the physician assistant program and women. Are there a lot of women in the program? Yeah, there's um, about 30 students in the class, and I would say about 20, 21 of us are female. That sounds about right, because with biology majors in the undergrad, um, women are about 60% of those undergrad degree holders. So that's that sounds just about right. So it sounds like the physician assistant program is heavily women or majority women, and that's really fabulous. So, um, after you graduate, where do you see yourself? What are you gonna be doing? That is a very good question. Um, well, when I graduate from the program, I take this big certification exam called the PANTS. And after I pass that test, I hope to work in an emergency room someday, but I still have a year of education to go, so I'm keeping my options open since there are so many different areas that PAs can work in. So let's talk about your first year. Tell me about your classroom interactions and what you guys actually did your first year in the program. So the first year is pretty much all classroom based, whereas the second year is more out in hospitals and clinics. So the first year is very focused on like gaining the knowledge. And I like how Eastern organizes their program because we start with one body system and then every couple of weeks we start another new body system. So all of my six classes, we'll focus on one body system at the time, which I really like because when we were learning about the skin and dermatology, all of my classes related to that. So although it was a lot of information to learn in a short period of time, the organization helped. That's great. So in the classroom, are you just basically working in textbooks or, or is there any hands-on applications? Um, there's a lot of variety of learning. Um, we do a lot of lectures. Some classes are more lecture based than others. We have small group learning where in groups of like six or seven or so, we will like look at a case and we'll all work through it together. We'll figure out what the problem is, if we want to run any tests, how we would treat this patient. And then during the first semester, we have anatomy, which takes up a lot of our time, but we get to do a hands-on cadaver lab where we dissect and we are hands-on in that aspect in small groups. And I, we learn in a lot of different ways. I really like that you guys work in small groups. That's really important. And I love the idea that you guys actually get a case and kind of like unpeel the layers and try to figure things out. That's That sounds like what you would probably be doing on the job, right? Yes, I think it's very realistic, yet there's no risk of harming any real person. Mm, that's important, right? Yes. So tell me about your instructors. How do you like your instructors? I think they're great. I mean, PA school is probably the most challenging thing I've ever done so far. 
but the instructors are very easy to talk to, they're great at teaching. Um, our class is pretty small, there's 30 of us, so we all get to know our professors pretty well and joke around with them since we see them so much. So do you know, are they actual PAs? Are they actual physicians? Yes. Oh, they are. <laughs> all of our professors are working as PAs. A lot of them have worked in emergency rooms um, and all local hospitals around here. So they have lots of great stories to share with us through our learning. That's excellent. That's so important. So tell me about the classroom sharing with your fellow students. Do you guys, um, you sounds like you work closely together. How do you get along with your classmates? Oh, we all get along great. I mean, like I said, it's a small class and we all know each other and it's an extremely challenging program. So it's very easy, easy for us to get along since we're all in this together and it's hard to explain to friends and family how challenging it is. So we have a great time. We joke around in class. We study together, both in the classroom and outside of it. And on Friday afternoons after our last class, we all like to go and get a bite of food together. So I'd say we're a pretty close-knit class. That is so important that you guys have that camaraderie. Sometimes in some programs, it's very competitive and, and you're working toward working against your classmates. So it sounds like you guys are working together to achieve graduation. So that's yes. Cool. Yes, it is competitive to get into a PA program. But once you're there, everyone's rooting for each other. The competitiveness goes away. So tell me about your undergrad. What was your undergrad in? Um, I had a bachelor's in allied health sciences. And then I had an emphasis on pre physician assistant studies. And your interest in healthcare, you said, started before you even reached college. You did something with health in high school. Tell me about that experience. So in my high school, it was a really big high school, so it was for, I was fortunate to have an opportunity to have a health occupations class, which was a two-hour class every day of the week. And it was a class that I didn't realize at the time how much I was learning because I still remember a lot of the stuff I learned from that class today but it exposed me to all the different ways that you can work in healthcare. I mean, there are a crazy amount of jobs in healthcare and they're, they're all so different, but with the same goal of helping patients. So that was where I first got my exposure to, this is what a physician assistant is, this is what they do. And that kind of sparked my interest. That's great. Those uh, high school programs are so important and mm -hmm. building awareness of what actual careers are out there. So that's great that you got to take advantage of a, a great program like Allied Health. So that's great. Um, before we leave today, um, can you share a little advice to our viewers who um, maybe are unsure of what their next steps are in, in going to college even? Yeah, I mean, I would say keep working hard because you're not really gonna get anywhere if you don't work for something. Um, and if healthcare is something you think you might be interested in, then explore all the different options you have. Um, it's honestly endless. There are new careers popping up every day. And if you have any friends or family, reach out to them, ask them what their day-to-day -day life is like if they work in healthcare and see if that's something you'd be interested in or if you could even spend a day with them to get more information. Thank you. That's really good advice. I think reaching out to a relative or a friend in healthcare is so important and can give you so much insight. So thank you for that. And uh, thank you for being our role model today. Really appreciated having you and hearing your, your story about the PA program at Eastern Michigan University. Yes, thank you for having me.